Well, it's super important for your brand identity to really kind of thrive in more traditional or static environments. Um, all the technology we're, we're, we're faced with today in this kind of this digital world that we live in uh, really kind of builds in this opportunity for us to kind of start the process from more of a dynamic or digital standpoint and kind of build that into our process right from the get-go. What? We now have the opportunity for Motion to play a key role in our process as we start to build an identity system. You know, it was once looked at as a, a nice to have or an afterthought, is now looked at as, you know, really as an expectation from the audiences we're speaking to. And this starts early on in our process as we're brainstorming or we're starting to sketch an identity system. We challenge ourselves to go and move beyond just thinking about the structure, the symbolism, the color, the shape, the size, and develop uh, concepts from a storyboard or a frame-by-frame -frame dynamic perspective. This allows us to keep the identity simple while allowing for maybe an extra layer of meaning to be played out in the movement or the interaction with the user. So this really allows us to keep the identity more simplified in nature, but still putting the emphasis or allowing an extra layer of meaning to be played out in the motion or the interaction with the user. We don't have to pack too many things or symbols into, into the identities. We can kind of restrain ourselves and really kind of look at motion to kind of pull through some different connotations. And I think this really ultimately results in a, a more powerful solution. And, uh, and that can provide more visual impact, uh, deeper meaning in this flexible, visible language that sets the stage for the larger visual system at hand.